Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 80 songs you forgot were awesome. Under the blue moon, I saw you so soon you take me. For this list, we're looking at the 1980s tracks that might have slipped through the cracks. These singles deserve as much attention as the biggest hits and classics from the decade. Did we forget an underrated 80s hit? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Vienna, Ultravox For those that know the band Ultravox well, Vienna is usually considered their most prominent release. The, cold air. the song is sometimes associated with the band's performance at Live Aid, where it was a highlight. Avoiding sentimentality, the synth-pop track uses the title city as the setting for a torrid romantic relationship. Emotions run high as singer Midge Yor puts his all into every note. The chorus in particular allows Yor to show off, proving himself as a highly underrated vocalist. The original release was a hit in multiple European countries, but it failed to cross the pond in the same way. All these years later, it deserves a rediscovery from modern listeners. Number 19. Don't Dream It's Over, Crowded House After leaving Split Ends, singer Neil Finn brought his talents to the group Crowded House, and this hit was a result. There is freedom within, there is freedom without. It very narrowly missed out on the top of the Billboard Hot 100, hitting the number two spot on the charts instead. Despite its initial success, the tune doesn't always get the same attention nowadays. Now I'm towing my car, there's a hole in the Finn's writing shines here in one of his most enduring singles of his entire musical career. The inventive lyrics elevate it beyond the other rock and new wave songs of the period. It could easily have a similar impact if it were released tomorrow, owing to its timeless quality. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Number 18. Send Me an Angel, Real Life from their debut album Heartland, real life single Send Me an Angel captures the early new wave scene in full force. Do you believe in heaven above? Do you believe in love? The group released an initial version in 1983, but their version from 1989 did even better in countries like the US. Bands have rarely had as much fun in the studio as this, generating an earworm that you will not soon forget. such a thing as enjoyably repetitive, Send Me an Angel takes the cake with its simple glory. There have been many covers since that attempt to capture the energy of the original, but real life's version reigns supreme. Send me an angel, right now. Number 17. If This Is It, Huey Lewis and the News Huey Lewis and the News might not have been the hardest rocking stars of the 80s, but they certainly had a number of successful hits. I've been falling, a night and morning. If This Is It finds them in top form, with both an entertaining 80s production and a throwback to doo-wop music. Lewis's vocals are typically well-rounded and powerful throughout, especially in the fun chorus. The song appears on their album Sports, and doesn't always get the same reception as their other singles. For those wanting an enjoyable trip back to the height of the group's career, you could do a lot worse than If This Is It. Number 16. Voices Carry, Till Tuesday while they might have had short-lived success, the band Till Tuesday more than proved themselves with the single Voices Carry. Amy Mann sings the track with complete conviction, giving this new wave production something special. Her performance indicates all the promise of her eventual solo career, while still capturing a very definite 80s pop vibe. And I try so hard to keep it the top 10 entry also gives off a more unique sound that seems to have influenced portions of the alternative rock scene as well. Till Tuesday's legacy continued on for two more albums, but this hit remains the highlight of their brief run.
Number 15, Waiting for a Star to Fall, Boy Meets Girl. Boy Meets Girl is an 80s pop act composed of Shannon Rubicam and George Merrill, both known as the songwriting duo behind a pair of Whitney Houston classics. Off of their second album, Real Life, Waiting for a Star to Fall has all of the wonder of a classic and unadulterated pop effort. I wish I didn't feel so strong about you, like happiness and love evolve around you. The song made it to number five on the Hot 100 and managed to find audiences with chart success around the world. Since its release, there have even been a few covers that have reinterpreted it for 21st century listeners. The composers clearly demonstrated that they also have talent as performers. Number 14, The Killing Moon, Echo and the Bunny Men. At the intersection of New Wave and the Gothic rock movement, Echo and the Bunny Men offer up the perfect bridge between musical influences. The Killing Moon serves as one of their greatest achievements as a band. Perfect for a spooky evening listen, the single has a murky and atmospheric sound that lures listeners into its mystery. Several films like Donnie Darko have borrowed the tune and capitalized on its intriguing nature. Dangerous and romantic, the track features career best vocals from singer Ian McCullough. In the starlit nights I saw you, so cruelly you kissed me. Even if the group or song hasn't reached household status, that doesn't mean it can't have another resurgence. Fate up against your will. Number 13, Self Control, Laura Branigan. Laura Branigan continues to be an underrated performer from the 80s. Her contributions to the cover song Self Control helped make it a top five hit on the Billboard pop chart. As with her other signature hit, Gloria, Brannigan stands out with a lively performance style. The single soared to the top of several international charts during the peak of the artist's fame. Taking a cue from the Italian disco scene, she takes Raff's original release for a ride in genre mixing production. With a steamy story and arrangement, Self Control reminds everyone why the singer should be remembered as one of the unsung solo artists from the period. Number 12, Out of Touch, Hall & Oates. There haven't been many duos in music history as successful as Daryl Hall and John Oates. Before their slowdown in the late 80s, they had one final number one in the decade with Out of Touch. The bouncy synth track reveals the all-star musicianship from the pair, who bend genres at the will of the current popular music trend. With humble roots in R&B and rock, Hall & Oates stretch their legs in a supremely catchy pop single. This and their accompanying album, Big Bam Boom, might seem like a proverbial swan song but instead display a band that's only getting started with another phase of their fruitful career. You're out of touch. I'm out of touch. Number 11, All Through the Night, Cyndi Lauper. Cyndi Lauper's first album contains many of her finest and most acclaimed tracks. One of those songs, All Through the Night, doesn't receive the same attention as it deserves. I'll be awake and I'll be with you. Like her other major hit, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, the piece is actually a cover that has since become synonymous with the singer. The song glides effortlessly between being a passionate love ballad and a delicate lullaby. Lopper's no angelic voice carries the verses with a beautifully somber quality. A guest vocal from the original author Jewel Shear also rounds out the production with some well-placed harmonies. The entire song deserves further attention for its showcase of the performer's talents and a pure pop sound. Number 10, Dead Man's Party, Oingo Boingo. As a delightfully different act from the decade, Oingo Boingo again defies expectations with Dead Man's Party. Singer Danny Elfman and company generate a track that utilizes a mix of new wave and ska elements into one of the band's best efforts. Stop, 
It's also been heard in the film Back to School, among many other appearances since its initial release in 1986. The groovy beat and imaginative lyrics keep audiences engaged the whole way through. From start to finish, Elfman's idiosyncratic performance and the horn section make this a truly memorable experience. The frontman was destined for further greatness as a film composer, but this kind of release has its own inherent greatness that's worth celebrating. Number 9. In a Big Country, Big Country In a Big Country could only have been sung by Big Country. That's not only because of their title similarities, but because the single has all of their trademarks, from a driving rock foundation to folk and Celtic arrangements. Even with this early song off of their debut album, The Crossing, the group feels more than ready for mainstream success. The track found an audience in both the UK and the US, where it was a top 20 success. So take that look out of here, it doesn't fit you. Some people think of Big Country as a one-hit wonder, but they've managed to keep a devoted following since their first release. This tune, more than any other, best represents their bright sound and Scottish roots. In a big country, dreams stay with you. Number 8. The Perfect Kiss – New Order The Perfect Kiss represents New Order's firm grasp on the synth-pop genre. As one of the early masters of the genre, the band's post-punk roots transfer fluidly into this epic and electronic single. I Beyond its cryptic lyrics, there's an engrossing dance pop song waiting to be discovered. In an exciting and methodical track, Peter Hook's bass playing is one of the many ingredients that come together to make it a standout effort. With some minor success on the 80s pop charts, this work was never a commercial high point for New Order. More time has allowed for people to reconsider it hopefully leading to its reappraisal as a notable entry into the synth wave. Now Number 7. I Got You – Split Ends New Zealand legends Split Ends maintained a steady output in the early 80s. Their track I Got You finds them in peak form and serves as one of their calling cards. I don't go out Singer and songwriter Neil Finn lends his musical prowess to a rocker with an enthralling presentation. By the time you reach the chorus, there's no way to deny the catchiness of this single. I don't know why sometimes I get frightened. New Zealanders and neighboring Australia welcomed the song with open arms before it sailed around the world to further fame. Split Ends has more than a few engaging songs, but this stands as one of their finest moments. Number 6. The Promise – When in Rome New wave group When in Rome had at least one sizable entry into the 80s canon with The Promise. If you need a friend, don't look to a stranger. One could easily criticize it for its cheesy synth or its heartfelt lyrics, but this track is much more than the sum of its parts. Sometimes sincerity trumps more artful words. And this song works in much the same way, shedding any pretense to tell a direct love story. When your day is through, and so is your temple. When in Rome's dueling singers both deliver commendable vocal parts in an all-too-rare 80s male duet. The Promise is also prominently featured at the end of Napoleon Dynamite, where many people too young for the original release heard the track for the first time. Number 5. Running Up That Hill – Kate Bush Critically acclaimed and legendary among many music circles, Kate Bush is one of the great minds behind more avant-garde pop music in the 80s. It me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The song Running Up That Hill has an undisputed power that Bush harnesses without wasting one second. Defying genres, the multifaceted artist uses a mesmerizing drum beat to construct a single like no other. Yeah. 
The performer's impressive singing voice also gives the entire production a beautiful resonance that few others can replicate. Running Up That Hill received another resurgence after being featured in Stranger Things, introducing a new generation to the wonders of her artistry. Number 4. Head Over Heels – Tears for Fears Tears for Fears more than earned their title as one of the decade's best new wave acts, reminding everyone of their talents in Head Over Heels. I wanted to be with you alone. It comes off of the band's smash album Songs from the Big Chair, starting with a triumphant piano intro that leads into a smooth and listenable production. Among a list of extremely underrated 80s singers, Roland Orzabal gives one of his finest performances in a triumphant expression of affection. Its considerable success upon release has since dissipated because of the group's other singles taking precedent, including Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Its true potential as a definitive pop statement could have easily made it the greatest work of any lesser band. Number 3. The Stroke – Billy Squire Billy Squire's The Stroke is the primary track associated with the musician's career. Don't take no Don't take no A single off of his highly successful album Don't Say No, the artist creates music that's perfect for a stadium rock tour. Whether or not you understand the lyrics, Squire's electric vocals coincide with a groovy riff that will have you playing air guitar in no time. One of his best musical statements still rocks the house all these years later. Even people who don't remember his name can appreciate this full throttle 80s declaration, cultivating a wild performance into a few shocking minutes. So Number 2. Urgent – Foreigner Foreigner is known for many different singles, but Urgent sometimes falls between the cracks. Shy, you get around. Among the band's first releases in the 80s, the track and its adjoining fourth album function as an evolution of their sound without compromising their earlier success. The song clearly had its day in the sun, attracting enough attention to reach the top of the US mainstream rock charts. Elements such as Lou Graham's energetic vocals and an amazing saxophone solo by Junior Walker take this production to another level. While Foreigner isn't everyone's cup of tea, this track's funky energy could easily sway critics. Emergency, urgent, urgent. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Never Tear Us Apart – In Excess Never Tear Us Apart is an 80s ballad like no other. In Excess might be known for bombastic new wave songs and big rock productions, but this track features them in a more somber mood. Don't ask me what you know is true. Michael Hutchins delivers a glorious vocal with all the passion of a true artist with great charisma. The lyrics stand out and read out like a beautiful love letter. I told you that we could fly. A string arrangement is the main focus for this particular work, which might be the boldest in the NXS catalog. It might have been a single in its day, but it deserves to be heard as much as their other hits like Need You Tonight. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.